If you shop online, you will find a whole slew of these AD584-based voltage reference boards. They tend to go for about 10 bucks. I splurged and I spent double that, 20 bucks Canadian for this AD584-M. What drew me to it is that it's a more complete and finished product. It comes with an acrylic case, quarter inch banana jack. Now I was led to believe that it would come with a lithium battery pack. Uh, I don't know where I got that idea, uh, and it didn't, uh, but I'm okay with that. I'll power it from this uh, USB 5 volt. And another feature that it has over those $10 boards is that you don't have to go through switching jumpers around to get the voltage output. You can select it by pushing this little button here, right here. And by doing so, you can go from 2.5 to 5 volts. to 7.5 and 10.0. This is at the heart of it all, the AD584KH. The H signifies that it comes in this tin can package and the K is the specification and we're going to look at that in just a bit. If we were to install a lithium battery pack, it would be soldered through those holes and the 8205 charge controller is already on the board. What about the accuracy of these things? Well, a lot of them are shipped with a label that uh, suggests that each and individual one of these things was measured by some high-end equipment on a certain date, a certain temperature, and uh, they'll go like uh, maybe five decimal places on there. Uh, I don't buy into that. So, uh, the best thing to do is to have a look at the uh, spec sheet for the AD584 and they stipulate here is the maximum value so this is the worst case scenario and they uh, seem to cover themselves fairly well because uh, people who uh, have better uh, equipment resources skills and I who've dug in a little deeper uh, you can expect that they're at least twice as good as this if not three times better than what you see here. So I'm just going to make a blanket statement. You take this reference and you calibrate your oscilloscope with that and you should be a happy camper. So what about the idea of uh, testing the accuracy of uh, multimeters like this with the AD584? Well, I'm not really a big fan because for the most part, these multimeters only display to two decimal places and uh, you know, like, maybe it's okay to see if something is really really out of whack um, instead of beating that horse i'd like to try to do something here on the channel uh, that nobody else really does and uh, let's uh, put the ad584 aside i mean uh, we've established that it'd be a very good tool to calibrate the uh, oscilloscopes with but um, Let's have a little bit of fun here with these uh, multimeters uh, and take a whole different uh, angle to it. We'll start with this uh, standard ATO 10 amp automotive fuse, all right? So you guys are familiar with uh, measuring voltage drop across a fuse like this to confirm whether there's any uh, current going across it, right? It can do better than that because by the use of a chart like this, it can tell you how much current. So for every 1,000 milliamps, which is one amp, a fuse like this would be 7.7 .7 millivolts voltage drop across it, right? I've rigged a small test here that's going to show one of those times when we're trying to get millivolt accuracy out of a multimeter. You guys will remember gadgets number 76, right? It has built-in 4 ohm resistance. So across here, it's going to be drawing 3.35 amps, right? If we have 7.7 .7 millivolt voltage drop for every one amp that goes across here, well, at 3.35 times 7.7, .7, we should be getting a voltage drop of 25.8 millivolts across here. 
the first multimeter we're going to test is this seventy dollar Innova thirty three twenty. And it's measuring 24.6 millivolts. That's not that far off from the 25.8 expected. Next is another $70 multimeter. It's a Mastercraft brand. Let's measure the voltage drop across that fuse. We're getting 24 millivolts out of an expected 25.8 not bad next we're going to bring out the big guns this is the fluke 376 it's an industrial multimeter it's worth 10 times what the other ones are at about 700 bucks so again 3.35 amps we're expecting 25.8 and we're getting 24.6 all in the same ballpark as the lower priced ones so i could have chased my tail right i could have tried to prove something by comparing these multimeters against this voltage reference uh, don't get me wrong i really do like this product but by doing this exercise with the voltage drop across that small automotive fuse we're using a standard procedure and we're using published charts and we have uh, expectations and then we find out that all three of these multimeters regardless of their price was within about one millivolt of expectation um, I think that was fun and uh, insightful um, I hope you liked it so uh, that's all I got these guys take care